Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, Royal Caribbean says it may be eliminating one of the main things people love on cruise ships. So in a recent chat that they do uh, online with travel agents and reporters and they're talking about the cruise line industry with Royal Caribbean, the CEO came up with a statement that said they feel that the Windjammer Cafe, so the buffet styled restaurant on their cruise ships will probably, you know, the cruise ships will probably sail without that when they start. In other words, no buffets in Royal Caribbean. And when people ask, they said, well, what are you going to do with all that space? It's some of the largest space on the cruise ship for dining is in the buffet areas because they, they deal with so many people. That's how they feed the majority of the people on the cruise ship, especially at lunch and things like that. And they said, well, they, they kind of see it becoming more of a more of a dining option area, kind of like, you know, like a more of a regular restaurant and I'm going well here's my problem with that um, if you make that just another restaurant then you're going to start having the lines that you have for the dining times and the dining options the, the, the good thing about a buffet is you know it's open between this time and this time and you just go when you feel like it which keeps the crowds down Yes, there's always that initial crowd right when it opens, but if you go about an hour after it initially opens, you can usually just go right through the buffet line with no problem and you're done. And some people brought up the point of, you know, well, why would you not just have more servers? You know, as people serving the food have, you know, the glass shield separating you and everything, and they dish out the food that you asked for and hand it to you just much like they do whenever there's a, you know, a norovirus outbreak on a cruise ship. That seems to stop any spread when they start doing that. That's one of their initial protocols. Why not? Why would you not just instigate that? And they really didn't have an answer for that. And to me, the answer seems obvious that that sounds like it would cost more staff. And uh, I don't know. Or is it something that the CDC, by doing this, they'll get a more favorable ruling from the CDC to open? I, I'm not sure. So, but I think it's a mistake. I think it's a mistake to start saying that you will eliminate buffets. It's much like, you know, your favorite rides at amusement parks. There are some rides that you stand in line for hours because it only fits so many people on that ride at a time. You know, if you're in a vehicle that only holds four people and it does a three and a half minute ride, that means it can only hold three and a half, those four people every three and a half minutes plus loading and unloading. So you can say five minutes for four people. That's not very many people an hour in an amusement park that may hold 100,000 people. Now you get on a ride that's constantly moving all the time and people are walk along the, the moving conveyor belt and you hop on and it keeps going and then people are getting off the other side and more people, and it's a constant thing like this. Those take up passengers, those take up guests, those, those are time sinks that save time. That's like a buffet. It's much faster to go to a buffet than it is to go to a sit down restaurant. It's much more convenient to go to a buffet than it is to a sit down restaurant. And when they came out with the statement saying it's all about giving our clients and our passengers more choice. Okay, well guess what? Royal Caribbean, you already have a ton of restaurants on board for me to choose from. You have the main dining lounges, then you have all the different Sorrentos and you have, you know, different specialty restaurants that we can eat at. You have Boardwalk Cafe, you have hot dog places, you have hamburger places. There's places already for choices. The thing is the buffet will generate a ton of people and is a lot more convenient for your passengers. 
So before you start looking at changing it into a main dining restaurant, maybe consider doing the servers before you do that. Because I think a lot of passengers will be turned off by that. Not being able to just go to the buffet with your kids whenever you feel like it. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, well, let's make a dining reservation time or go stand in line outside where Windjammer is until they can assign us a table and a waiter and then we only have a limited food. You know, one of the great things about you know, a buffet in Princess, there's like 180 items you can choose in their buffets. How many items are going to be available in a regular sit-down restaurant? 12? 15? 20? Tops? So yeah, you're eliminating something that people love on your cruise ships by saying that you're going to turn it into a main dining thing. That's not going to work. Uh, you also want to spread your food out and spread your dining out a little more perhaps is one of the things you're looking at. Maybe enhance your room service menu to more than four or five items and stop charging us when you deliver it to us and stop charging us, you know, for our pop when we have the soda package on the cruise ship. There's an idea, but again, that's money. And so I don't think that'll ever happen. But obviously, I am a person, I use the buffet a lot because I work on a cruise ship, so it's nice to go grab something in the buffet and bring it down to my room. And I would be sorely hesitant if they start eliminating buffets on all their cruise ships. You better have some spectacular replacement for me and something that's way more convenient than just another sit-down restaurant because that won't work and you have too many passengers. You can't put 6,000 guests on a cruise ship and not have some place for them to go at a moment's notice to grab something to eat. You cannot have 6,000 passengers waiting for seating to eat at all times. It just won't work. But let me know what you guys think down below. I think it would be a huge mistake. I, I have no idea why they would not look at just having a bunch of servers there gloves, masks, and they're the ones handing you the food. I have no idea. Space out the tables better in the Windjammer Cafe if you need to space things out better, perfect. But to eliminate it and turn it into another kind of a dining that's not a buffet, that's just like a regular sit-down restaurant, I, I, I don't think that'll be pleasing to too many people. Well, let me know what you guys think down below, and I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.